So Columbia is also looking at the kind of animals that ticks would feed on on Staten Island, including the use of uh, camera traps to learn more about how these animals move through our woods. So um, tell us about the camera trap program. Yeah, so at each one of the grid sites where we're monitoring tick populations and mice populations, we also have two camera traps set up that are rotated every two weeks to capture um, different hosts that the black legged tick could use at these sites. Um, so then we have a collection of, of photos from each one of the sites, and um, we can get an idea of the diversity of hosts that are present and the density of the animals. So this is showing um, a white-tailed deer, and you can see that it's been tagged by white buffalo, and this is one of the pictures that was taken at night. So the cameras have a thermal detector that picks up, um, picks up animals within its range of 100 meters. Um, here's another, here's a raccoon that was found at La Tourette. A groundhog, which we'll be looking to trap um, this summer as well for the longhorn tick. And a fawn. And it also monitors temperature, um, the time that the animal was passing by, and the date, so we can get an understanding of the activity patterns of these different species over the course of a day. So this is fascinating. This is a photo from one of your camera traps of yep. ticks on the antlers of the deer Correct. Uh, by the hundreds. Yes. Uh, so tell us about that phenomenon, seeing so many ticks on the antlers of the deer. So this picture, we can zoom into it so we can get a better view. You can see here are all of the engorged ticks, mostly adults, um, but there are different stages and we did find all three species of tick, black-legged tick, uh, the Lone Star Tick and the Asian Longhorn Tick feeding on deer over last summer. But when the deer are in the rut and they have velvet all over their antlers, it's a very good blood source. And so we do find a lot of ticks feeding on the antlers of these deer. So as your cameras are capturing these moments and you can see ticks like that, that's invaluable. Yep. They tend Absolutely. to be on the ears and the head of animals. Yes. Yeah, and if there's... Um, if the deer has any sort of sores, the ticks will kind of congregate in that area. So I also have pictures of um, fawns with had cuts on their legs, right. and they were totally the ticks covered find the blood. Ticks. Yeah. 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 Well, that's that's both a gross and informative photo. That's for sure. <laughs>